little bit about your progress since you've been here and the two touchdown passes you caught uh, the other night. Uh, my progress since I've been here, is, I think, has been uh, pretty good just due to all the great coaching I've had. Coach Wallace is a really good tight end coach, and uh, we have a really deep tight end room, and he works individually with all of us at practice to make sure we get better. And uh, the two touchdowns is just next man up mentality. So I got the chance to play more last game, and I got the chance to go make plays when number, one of my number was called. So, Antonio, can you speak about the defensive mindset after the first half? You had the, the two fourth down, uh, I guess, blown assignments where you know you could have really started – throw the towel in, so to speak. Yeah. Can you just talk about the mindset coming back out in the second half and, and really throwing the game that you guys did? Uh, we really just had a mindset of, like, um, like don't go, don't give up. Like, we knew we was down. We knew we were going to have to finish the game. And, like, nobody got down. We stayed together. We played as one. We, we it, it, it worked. We showed up at the end. Nate, were the, uh, the two touchdowns, were they the same play call? They, they looked very similar. <laughs> yeah, they were the same exact play call. Yeah. So when they called it the second time, were you pretty confident it would work again, or did you think they might be on to it? I thought they were going to cover it, but I was more open the second time than the first time. So I was like, <laughs> cool. They, they weren't really easy catches. You had to kind of reach a little bit sideways. Were you – I mean, were you confident you were going to catch the ball when you saw it coming? Yeah, uh, last year the two touchdowns I scored were off the same play as, as well, so I'm pretty used to that play. So, Antonio, on Saturday, Ashton talked about how – or Friday, Friday. Um, Ashton talked about how defensively you guys are starting to hold each other more accountable. I guess how much of a role do you take as far as leadership goes in, you know, calling guys out and, and just making sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing? Uh, I think I play a big role in the leadership. Um, you know, I'm a I, I'm a starter now. Coach trusts me now, so I I feel like I have to play a big role in the leadership, and that's I just start to hold guys accountable more, and that's yeah. I mean, were, were you robbed of a touchdown in that Miami game? I know you've lo you've looked at the film. Uh, what, what what were your thoughts after seeing that? Yeah, yeah, I think I was robbed. You know, but. It is. They call what they call, so I can't do nothing about it. So, Nate, back to you. Uh, were you surprised at all to get the the two touchdown calls or the you know the play calls? And you expect more of that in the future, or how do you see this all coming together toward the in the last four or five games? Uh, I really wasn't surprised because that's a pretty good uh, like, uh, goal line call or short yards call for us. So I really wasn't surprised when Coach Prom called it and. Uh, Hopefully, for the rest of the season, I can, with Jamari being out, I could just step up and be, start playing more. So, hopefully, I start getting more catches and stuff like that. So, Kenny, take, take us through what you've seen from, from Coach English and how he's kind of remained calm through all this storm. I mean, people kind of, you know, if there's a big play or something, everybody's calling for, for him to lose his job. How, how, what have you been impressed with that you've seen from him through this season? Uh, as you know, he moved from the box to – the sideline now, and I think that, that pretty much helped us because now that we, we when we when we come off the field, he can coach us on what we did wrong. Like right now, I think that that's how it helped. Okay, uh, Nate, when you have Jamari who's out, Colin is redshirting, Jaden obviously we went out a long time ago. How much, I guess. Does that put on you in terms of just trying to step up like you did on Friday night? And what is that like in terms of just, you know, having to use what you guys have right now? Uh, I mean, I think everybody on the team is really just thinking like next man up mentality. Like Chris Hughes, he's a walk-on, went in there, had three catches. Uh, I went in there and played the most snaps I played all year and had two catches. So I think everybody's really just n knowing we c what we can do and we practice all week. So you just got to go out there and do it during the game. So. What do you, again, Nate, what do you think you bring to the team? What's your main asset, you think, or assets you bring to the team at the tight end position? Uh, I like to think that I'm a decent blocker and I can catch the ball as well. So uh, I guess um, I can be used for catching and, uh, and blocking. So that's what I think I bring to the team. And, uh, yeah.